New Delhi, in an upcoming display of military collaboration, the Special Forces of India and the United States are set to engage in a joint exercise known as Vajra Prahar for a duration of 21 days. The bilateral drill, scheduled to commence next week at Umroy Canton Meghalaya, aims to provide valuable training opportunities in counter-terrorism, airborne operations, and special forces missions, according to official sources, this marks the 14th edition of the Vajra Prahar exercise, with the previous iteration being held in Baklo, Himachal Pradesh, last year. The 12th edition took place at Joint Base Lewis McCord in Washington, U.S., in 2021, the joint military exercise will unfold in two distinct phases. The initial phase will focus on combat conditioning and tactical level special mission training exercises, while the subsequent phase will involve a 48-hour validation process to assess the skills acquired by both forces, as per insider information, initiated in 2010, this long-standing joint exercise holds strategic significance. Following the conclusion of the 13th edition, the Ministry of Defense emphasized its importance, stating, Exercise Vajra Prahar with U.S. Special Forces is significant in terms of security challenges faced by both nations in the backdrop of the current global situation. The joint military exercise has further strengthened the traditional bond of friendship between the Special Forces and improved bilateral defense cooperation between India and the U.S. Notably, in previous exercises, Indian soldiers utilized SIG SIR assault rifles sourced from the U.S., and the Indian Air Force deployed a Chinook heavy lift helicopter for combat enabling operations. The Indian Army showcased innovative measures, such as training birds and kites, to counter the escalating threat of drones. This collaboration follows the 19th edition of the UWS exercise, which took place in September at Fort Wainwright, Alaska, U.S. The Indo-US military engagement encompasses a wide range of activities, from counter-terrorism efforts to peace enforcement and humanitarian assistance, sparking concerns in China about the potential emergence of a direct challenge to Chinese hegemony in the region.